Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hello. In today's video, I have for you the Dimension Nails Summer 2022 collection. Now, yes, I've already, like I said in the past, already started sharing fall collections as they've been releasing, but this summer collection was pushed back quite a bit, you know, from the brand's original plans due to supply chain issues and whatnot. So anyways, it doesn't matter. They're here now and we're gonna review them and just just look at them okay just look at them and knowing how dimension nails formulas are you guys can only imagine how amazing <laughs> these polishes are like i can't even hide it like i'm not even gonna be like let's find out i'm like no we know but anyway still you know we're gonna swatch them and go through them because there are two polishes here that do have something specific going on that i want to mention um, I don't even know if you guys would notice if I don't mention it, but I'm gonna mention it. Um, and that's it. This was sent to me as PR um, to create some content for the brand, but it does not include this video. I'm making this video because I want to. Now these are gonna release August 26th, and I'm going to possibly be posting this video. I think you guys are watching this for the first time on Tuesday, the Tuesday before. That way you have time to figure out what you need if you need anything. So. Without further ado, let's get into them. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing for this video because you guys always ask me and I always forget to mention. On this hand, it's very obvious, I'm wearing a Skittle with the colors from this collection. And on my right hand, I'm actually wearing a gel manicure using Dimension Nails gels, but this color is discontinued. So even if I wanted to link it, I can't. And it's a shame because it's a fantastic sheer, your nails but better kind of color. It's perfect for me. It's almost like the same as my skin tone. I love it, but it's not available, so I'm sorry. <laughs> First up, we have Clownfish, and this one's described by the brand as a light, creamy, neon orange. Now, when I'm looking at it in person, I'm getting like a creamsicle pastel neon. I don't know if that helps you, because it does pull a little bit more pink undertone in person. It looks very yellow here on camera, but just think creamsicle. Creamsicle pastel neon is what I'm getting in person. Um, it was a good two coater. I don't think you can wear this one at one. It would require two, but then it was perfect at two. Um, add my current nail length. Now keep in mind for color accuracy, look at the picture, not the video. Remember my videos are more for the formula, the brush, how it self levels, all of that. But some colors just don't show properly on video. So for that, look at the picture. Up next, we have Soldier Fish, and this one's described by the brand also as a bright, creamy, neon orange, but it's like a different type of orange. If you put it next to the Clownfish, you can tell how this one's more yellow, and this one starts to lean more into the coral. Now, in person, this one does look like a light coral. Let me see what I have in my notes. I have like an orange with heavy pink undertones, which is almost like a pastel coral but kind of neonish neon as well um, it was opaque and even in two coats i don't think you're gonna need more than that and it's so much cuter in person that is showing on video but you know maybe the picture is gonna help you guys figure this one out but yeah it's like a step above the clownfish now let me show you in between clownfish and the next one okay so if you look at the first two and then the one that I'm gonna show you next, you can see how they build up. In person, they feel more cohesive because they feel like the creamsicle with a splash of pink with a lot of pink. You know, they feel like they go nicely. They, they ombre into each other nicely. It might not show properly on video, but it does feel that way on the nail and in the bottles as well. Up next, we have a long nose hawkfish. And this was described by the brand as a creamy neon red with orange undertones. I don't think this is a red at all. This one for me is like just an amazing corally pink. Um, it was super easy to apply. It was wearable at one coat. I think for, non for longer nails, you guys are gonna need two, but at my current nail length, I can definitely wear this one at one. This one's just gorgeous. Like I said, it's, it's more of a coral than a red, in my opinion. Next up, we have Pink Manta Ray, and this one's described by the brand as a creamy neon pink. It is what it is, what you guys are seeing here. 
like the bubblegum kind of like super bright pink. The formula is fantastic. I think this one, yeah, I did two coats, but it was like super good at one. So keep in mind, if you have very short nails or smaller nail beds, you might be good to go at one coat. Otherwise you will not need more than two. None of these require any white under or any of that because the formulas are white based. So you just apply one to two coats and you're gonna be good to go. It's, it, this one's really, really nice. It's like pedicure heaven. Actually, all of these are great for pedicure, but this one specifically, really like pinks for pedicures. All right, up next we have Purple Queen Anthias. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm wearing it right here and here. And you guys can see what I'm saying, that the grainy gray thing is not visible on the nail at all. So don't worry about it, but just anyways. I keep saying don't worry about it and I keep talking about it, but I just like to be transparent with you guys with anything I find and I don't want any surprises, right? So anyways, this one was super opaque for me. I can totally wear this one at my current nail length at one coat. However, this is showing two. Um, they describe it as a rich pastel creamy purple. I don't know that this one would be considered a neon. But it's super bright. So it's kind of like a pastel that's leaning into being a neon. Up next, we have Emperor, Emperor Anglefish. And this one is described by the brand as a creamy, you know, bright light blue. That's exactly what this is. It feels like a neon pastel of sorts. Now, let me read to you guys what the description on the website says about the little granular thing. They describe it as saying that this color pigment has a micro texture slash granular appearance that can be seen when observed very close. You, you can barely see it, you know. Anyways, here, and it doesn't translate to the nail. You can see the nail looks perfectly fine. But anyways, that's what they're describing it as, and I do understand what they're saying. And anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about that. <laughs> All right, up next we have Giant Clam, and I'm wearing that one right here. And let me tell you, this color has something in it that I love. I think this might be like, Probably I'm gonna say my favorite neon green that I own, like across all brands. There's something in this, I don't know if it's like a certain pastel jade neon, it's different. There's something different in this green that is not that typical like highlighter green or anything, but it's so like cool and just sophisticated. I don't know what it is. I really, really like this green. Um, it's gonna be a two coater. I don't think you can wear it at one, but it's gonna be no more than two. It's one of those just like a standard two coater, but oh my God, this is like so beautiful, you guys. So beautiful. And last, but definitely not, not least, we have Ornate Butterfly Fish. I think that's one word, yeah. This one is described by them as a bright, creamy neon yellow. This is your typical highlighter yellow. Um, that's about it. This is the classic highlighter yellow. It was opaque and even for me at two coats, no need to put white under. It has a very, very good formula and a gorgeous color. Perfect for summer. This, this I think is the color that's like so pow. Well, actually maybe the green too, I don't know. But it's like, determined like standard you know like a summer color but you know you guys know if you're not a seasonal wearer that does not matter this one's a very good neon if you're looking for a neon highlighter yellow that's easy to apply you're gonna see on the life swatch this one's one of the easiest ones that i own so just keep that in mind all right guys so now that we have seen all of them if i have to pick a favorite it has to be this green honorable honorable mention as well to the highlighter yellow and the coral these two are some of my favorites as well but they're all very good um i'm gonna put my code down here so you guys can save some money it is an affiliate code so when you use it you do help me and my channel and thank you so much dimension else for sending these to me for review and thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye